What's good, Red Gang, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Des, and today we're going to get into another weekly vlog. Lately, we've been on like the moving ish, like, yeah, moving ish vlogs, but this is just another weekly vlog, y'all. You already know how we get down over here. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Join the gang, okay? We're a big family over here and we would love to have you. So y'all, I it is about five something right now. I had a very successful content day. Um, it is Monday for reference. I plan to vlog basically Monday through Friday because I have five days off. And so we'll see what we get into the next few days. Uh, I don't have anything crazy planned just a lot of like home stuff gym um a couple appointments that i'll take you guys with me and yeah so anyway like i was saying today i already had a meeting with my manager i filmed two campaigns and yeah like i'm feeling very proud of myself so let's see what else i had on my agenda for today so i always use the notes app y'all um, and then I just use the bullet point and like select them when it's done. So we did that, filmed that campaign, got ready, filmed that campaign, had lunch. I'm opening up the vlog right now. Um, okay, so I really wanna go to Sephora cause I have $15 worth uh, like of money back on my Sephora credit card that I'm gonna use cause it's gonna expire in like five days. Um, I heard there's some new like Fenty blushes and I'm like, y'all, P.S. Are we seeing this blush? <gasps> I have just been like doing the whole just like regular blush. And like, I know that liquid blush has been a thing for a minute now, but like, I don't know. It was just very intimidating for me. Like, I, I guess I didn't really know how to apply it. And now I'm obsessed. Like my face is blushed as f right now and i'm okay with it i think that it's so cute and it just complements my skin so yeah uh this is the rare beauty blush by the way anyway so yeah fenty blush i want to get the one size primer let me put that in my phone before i forget the matte primer let's see one size primer what else did i want to get um Yeah. There are some other things. Let me see. Because I know I had saved it on, was it Instagram? Oh, the Danessa Myricks, like, shadows, whatever it was, I saw on a creator's platform. I don't know if they're out yet, but I'm going to go look. Oh, I want to get the Ole Henriksen um, eye cream. Ole Henriksen eye oh, cream everybody keeps swearing by the Too Faced born this way concealer but then i i've heard reviews that it's awful so i'm like Ugh. um so anyway just a couple bits that i want to pick up and just kind of browse then the one that i'm going to is right next to a target so you already know i'm up in that john um, I want to look for some black and white canvases. I really want to go to like a home goods too. I don't know how close it is to where I'm going. We'll have to take a look. Um, and then I want to look for the Joy Lab sets. So I'm currently wearing one. It's funny because these are going viral right now. But if you guys have keep, kept up with me for a while, I bought this last year. Or sorry, I bought this at the beginning of this year. Remember when I went to London? I wore this in London. Well, they're going viral right now, so I'm so happy I already have the gray. Um, but I want to see, I have the black skirt. I do not have the top, the matching um, hoodie because I already have a crop hoodie from Aritzia that matches. So I want to go to Sephora Target. I need to post this other, this honey pot inclusion. Y'all, your girl got to deal with honey pot. Like, how cool is that? Um, at like 7-ish, so like in another hour 15 um, and then I want to come home and we have so much stuff from Amazon. 
so much stuff. P.S. My Amazon storefront will be linked in the description box down below. And then I just want to put in content tonight. I mean, that's my tea. So we got this day started kind of late, like as far as like the vlog goes, but your girl's been up and working. Anyway, welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. That's what we got going on today. Y'all, psych, I lied. Um, <laughs> I decided to sit on my couch like a dummy and I got super tired and just decided we will save these errands for tomorrow. So I just took a makeup wipe and removed my makeup. But now I want to get into some skincare because I need to. Because um, we are not sleeping in our makeup anymore, ladies. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. <laughs> Let's do some skincare. I already got my pajamas on. Y'all, I'm ready to wind down early tonight. I've really loved going to bed early lately. And obviously there's benefits to that in general, but like I didn't realize how much I would love to, to be in bed uh, until I started being in bed early. <laughs> so we are going to do a fat Amazon unboxing and then I will see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna do the gym and whatnot, but yeah. So a couple things. One, Coco and Eve sent me over three of their um, skincare products. Like I guess it's like a new skincare line by them. This antioxidant hydrating milk toner. <gasps> Okay, so it says dragon fruit plus 2% niacinamide plus probiotics complex. Lightweight antioxidant toner for plumper looking skin. A hydrating and brightening toner that supports the skin barrier and promotes youthful supple skin. A rejuvenating formula to be applied on freshly cleansed skin. This is tea. I'm so happy that they sent this over to me because I didn't even know I needed it until I started using it. Love it. So we're going to go on with that in a second. They also sent over two cleansers. I, if you guys know, I am like very, uh, I don't like trying new stuff. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But like the thing is, once somebody puts me on to something new, then I realize I need to stop being like that. Like I need to just be open to like trying new things. So they sent over the seed oil cleanser and the fruit enzyme cleanser. The seed oil cleanser has papaya seed oil and antioxidants. The fruit enzyme cleanser has dragon fruit plus PHA and BHA, which this is sounding like my tea because I love those acids in there. Gently cleanses, removes excess oil, dirt, and impurities. Let's see the difference. Okay, okay. So the seed oil cleanser non-stripping oil cleanser that removes impurities for comfortably clean skin wash away makeup spf and impurities with this non-stripping oil-based cleanser as the first step of the double cleansing routine oh infused with papaya seed oil dragon fruit and banana and a formula to promote a soft radiant complexion vitamin e and coconut help to moisturize for comfortably clean skin Oh, you use them together. Wow. Now I know what the girl is talking about with the double cleanse. I've been double cleansing and the way that I do it is I'll use a cleansing balm and then I'll use my cleanser. But I've never double cleansed with two cleansers. Unless it's a straight oil. I get, let's open it up and let's see. What the heck? Ooh, I love skincare. That is one thing I will say. Like I, I genuinely love skincare. I just be lazy sometimes and I'm trying to undo that habit because like my skin be, I will say I have fairly decent skin but like sometimes I will notice it'll be suffering when I neglect it so ooh, their packaging ate though like it's good quality packaging so this is the packaging ooh, ooh. it's like glass but it's cute, it's pink. You just take this little clip off so you can pump it down. Oh, I'm happy, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy, I'm happy to see. Now this one says exfoliating and smoothing cleanser that repair refreshes skin. Wash away impurity, sunscreen, and excess oil with this exfoliating and smoothing fruit enzyme cleanser. The This water-based, so the first one's oil-based to break it down. This is water-based to cleanse. 
Base formula infused with prebiotics delivers soft and smooth skin. Papaya enzymes, PHA, salicylic acids, and natural exfoliants removes dead skin cells, refines the appearance of pores, and boosts radiance. Okay, yeah. Let's get into this tea, y'all. Okay, let's see what she looks like. Oh, she's a two. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands first because you always want to do skincare on clean hands. Let me turn y'all. Now, let's take this cleanser. Let's take. Oh, that was a lot. Oh, oh God. That was a lot, I guess. Well, it's like, oh, it is like an oil. Okay, so I did use a makeup wipe, but I could have gotten away with not using one and just using this. I just thought that they were two different cleansers. I didn't know that one was like a, like this one's like a makeup remover type situation. Wow. Mmm, smells good. Okay, all the product is broken down. Hands were a little dirty, not too dirty because I use a makeup remover wipe. Okay. We're gonna rinse. This rinsed off really easily. Easier than I thought it would. Okay. All rinsed. Let's get into the other cleanser. Oh, it comes out real smooth, real easily. Okay, I already feel like, oh, there's like little micro beads in here. Oh, I like this feeling. There's like little tiny granules, if you will. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels good and it really feels like my skin is being exfoliated. Oh, I like this. This is actually what I've been needing. Wow. Yeah, y'all. This, I think, is going to be my new tea for the days that I wear makeup. Um, and I need to, like, remove it and get, like, a deep clean. Like, my pores... My skin is so soft and it's cause there's like the little micro exfoliants. Let me get a paper towel to wipe my face off. I lied, I lied, I forgot. Niacinamide is best absorbed to damp skin and this has 2% niacinamide in it, the, the toner. So let me, it's still pretty damp. No, it's still damp. Okay, we're good, we're good. Shake her. So this is the Coco and Eve antioxidant hydrating milk toner that I'm obsessed with. put her in like this and I just apply wow my skin feels like butter y'all so I pat it in I put it in like all over my entire face and then I pat it in to like lock it in make it a little bit more oh I love this stuff now I really do feel like the skincare girlies the dermatology girlies wow you cannot tell me that my skin is not skinny right now. What? This is good. This is good stuff. Put it on my neck too. Y'all, can we get into the skin? Nice and glowy, hydrated. Okay, huge Amazon haul. Let me go grab the stuff. So I have stuff in my wagon. And then some more stuff back there. Let's handle this first. Okay, so I ordered two cookbooks because I have the open shelving over there that y'all know. Um, and I just really wanted to also um, get back into cooking. Like I really do love cooking when I have time. And so anyway, I ordered the Magnolia 
um, table one, which if y'all know anything about like home renovations, home stuff, Joanna Gaines, and then her husband, I, is his name Chip? Shoot, I forget his name. Anyway, um, they're great. So they have like their whole like collection at Target. I think it's called like Magnolia Farms or something. Um, but they have this cookbook and I was like, let me, let's get into it. And I love the color. I love the aesthetic. I love that this is black. It's going to go really nicely up there. Then I got this other one. It's called the Complete Cooking for Two Cookbook. This thing, both of these are heavy. This one's super heavy. But um, it says 650 recipes for everything you'll ever want to make. And there's pictures. And they show you, oh, this is like the, like the tutorial has like step-by-step -step pictures. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Like I'm really excited to like get in my cooking bag. Like I low-key want to make dinner one of the nights this night. Um, so we'll see. I know I ordered a third book too. That might be in a different package though. And don't worry, everything that I'm naming will be listed in the description box. You already know how I get down. This next thing says it's drinking glasses. Speaking of, I got these other glasses that I want to show y'all, but here are some more. Oh yeah, these are cute. Coffee type beverages. So I got four of those. I'm gonna run the dishwasher today, so we'll put those in. So it came with a pack of four. Oh, oh, and it came with straws. Holy crap, okay. I'm glad I was paying attention and didn't just throw this whole box away. I would have been salty. Straws. I already have some, but I think mine might be a little longer, so this is like a perfect height. I'm happy with that. So my apartment has valet trash, which I love. All you have to do is set it outside of your door and they pick it up every night. Um, but the tea is if you want your cardboard boxes and stuff like that picked up, it must be flattened, <laughs> which is kind of annoying, but I get it, you know? So I have to, whenever I open a package, I immediately just flatten it because having them piled up is so annoying. All right. So those will be in the dishwasher tonight. Huge Amazon haul coming. I'm excited. All right, that's flat. Oh, gorgeous. It's this beautiful ribbed vase. Oh, I love her. She's gonna go perfect with my flowers. These are shower, um, what do you want to call them, shelves. The ones that I'm sure everybody has already seen by now on TikTok. But there are these matte black ones. Because as you guys know, I don't have any shelving in that bathroom. Which sucks, so I'm tired of putting my stuff on the ground. So I got these shelves. Comes with a set of two. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. I got, oh, I think I know what this is. It's for my coffee bar. Uh-uh. What is this stuff? Oh, I think I have to put it together. Ugh. So it's like, a tray. So it would go something like this. And then there's another one. Um, it comes with more like extra legs, another one of these, and glue. So I, I, apparently you glue it in. So I'll have to build that together. So it looks like this. And the ball goes like this to cork it. Here's the other one. That height, cork. 
Pick one. So what I was thinking was I could put dried like lime and orange in here for like the bar part and then use this big one for like like my espresso pods on the coffee side or something like that. What do we think? What do we think? My camera's overheating y'all and I, we still have like five more packages. Just know I will link the Amazon haul. I think the Amazon haul is going to go live before this video goes live. So don't worry. Everything that you don't see right now will be in the haul. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm going to unbox the rest of the stuff, put it away and get cozy on my couch, watch suits and probably knock out. So I will see y'all in the morning. Tuesday gang I am currently in my car sitting in front of Sephora I figured that I would swing by and knock out this run that I've been putting off I don't know why for the last week or so um, before I go to the gym so you guys saw I already have my morning we have a lot of home updates that I want to go over when we get home uh, after the gym tonight but right now we're gonna run in and grab some goodies from Sephora y'all tea T, 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 T. I wanted to share this app with y'all that I've been using. It's called the Gwang app, okay? Gwang is basically an app that is meant to help save you money. Yes, you heard me right, save you money. If you are an online shopper like me, you need this app. If you're just a shopper in general, <laughs> like me, you need this app. Gwang is like a discount hunter type of an app. So I will put a clip away on the side of the screen so you guys can kind of see my Gwang app like and how I have it set up. Basically what it does, it collects all the hottest deals that are currently going on across several different brands. You have your H&M on there, Sephora, um, Ikea, and so many others. And what it will do is it'll take one item and compare the price across all the different sites so you get the cheapest price. Okay, so let's say, hypothetically speaking, today I wanted to get a fragrance. So I would, you know, type in whatever I want uh, on like the Sephora site, for example. And then when I'm going through and scrolling, once the item is found, if there are any other stores that may carry that item, it will populate and show me what other stores have that item and also compare the prices from the Sephora site to another site. And then whatever one you end up going with, most likely the cheaper one, it'll take you directly to that site and you can buy it, check out, boom. I love it. So I'm sitting in front of Sephora because I want to go in here and see if they have some of these deals currently going on. I have a bunch in my basket and if I don't see anything, then I will just place everything online and just we'll unbox it together when it arrives. Hopefully if it arrives this vlog, I think it will. But I think it's worth a shot. So I already found a deal. The one size go off makeup dissolving mist. $12 y'all and it's originally $24 and it says that it's in stock I think at this location so I'm about to get out and go look because yeah we need the deals I just want to let y'all know about that app because like why wouldn't I I mean it's a steal everybody Maybe in this economy, everybody needs access to this app, okay? <laughs> so anyways, thank you to the Gwang app for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Let's head in here and see what we can find. <sighs> Guess who just came in? Let's unbox her. Let's unbox her.
completely shattered, y'all. Well, no surprise, y'all. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm sweaty. My mirror's broken. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, for reference, this is what the mirror <laughs> looks like. Um, I know I was being dramatic, but I'm just like frustrated because I really have always wanted these like my entire life. Never had one. Was super excited that now I'm in a fortunate position to be able to order one. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna have it, it's Tuesday. I'm gonna sit down and film for the rest of the week until I go back to work on Saturday. And then it's broken. But, update, we talked to uh, the Amazon team, ignore the mess. That is like my filming closet, so yeah, and storage closet, but we talked to the Amazon team and they are going to overnight me one tomorrow which they at first were like 72 hours and I was like please like I need this for my job I need this for work and they were like okay so oh update beauty room is looking nice and marvelous okay so here's the vision it's very junky in here so it's hard to see the vision but hear me out so for one I ordered this mirror this is the Ikea Hovit um love her this is with the black trim she looks really good and like full body I can get close and still take pictures and you can't see. This is very a wide length, wide angle, obviously, but like, this is how it would look. You see, you can see me without seeing any of the corners, full body. So there's that. Next, we have the Ikea mom um, dresser. So I'm gonna have this and then my vanity is gonna go up here. I'm exhausted. I just want to eat and then wash my hair tonight because I want to film tomorrow. We'll see what happens, honestly. We're doing pretty good. Two days in out of the five and we're already at three hours and 41 minutes left. I mean, not too good actually because ideally I would have liked to film an hour each day because once I clip it down, it'll come out to like two plus hours, but it's fine, I think. So I started off with five hours on this memory card. If I do the math correctly, out of five days, as long as I'm filming like 45 minutes each day, 45 plus 45, that would be an hour 30 plus 45, that would be an hour 15 plus 45, that would be two hours. And then plus 45, so that would be two hours and 45 minutes of footage. Wait, yeah, right? 45 times five is what? 225, 60, 240. Child, I don't even know why I'm trying to pretend like I, I can do the math off the dome. Right now, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm tired, bro. Good morning, y'all. I hate to be coming on here with low energy, but I feel like I wouldn't really be true to like myself and my brand and just like y'all if I didn't show you guys the lows um, in addition to the highs. By the way, I apologize if this video is just like a Debbie Downer because <laughs> I don't want it to be, but um, I had to take a day off from vlogging because my mental health was dwindling really bad yesterday. Um, so the last you guys saw, I think, was 
the unboxing of what was supposed to be my vanity mirror. It came completely shattered. That mirror was very expensive and I was very upset about it, but I reached out to Amazon and they sent me another one. Um, they actually were supposed to overnight another one to me. We'll get to that in a second. The lady was super, super sweet, very understanding. She also told me like, you don't have to worry about sending it back, even though I know that, that sounds common sense to us. If you've gone through Amazon exchanges or returns before, they always usually want you to send it, like send the defective item back and then they'll send you another one. That's what she basically was like, don't even, have, don't even worry about that, just trash it and we'll send you another one. Then yesterday, I was like looking, it was like late last night, like so basically it was this morning. I was looking at my orders and I realized she sent me another shower head. So when I'm, I placed the order for the vanity mirror, I had the vanity mirror and the shower, hat, the shower head in one order. When she had asked for my order number, I don't know if she like clicked the wrong item out of the order i don't know if she just thought that i was referring to the shower head but i said several times like i kept saying mirror 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 so i believe that she just probably clicked the wrong item nonetheless i'm, I'm annoyed because i wanted to film content and i cannot film content because the mirror is not here then two days ago after you know the last thing that i showed y'all when i had um opened the box and saw that it was shattered or whatever I put it away or packed it back up um, and everything I actually have a piece of glass that's like stuck in my finger it's a tiny piece and I cannot get it out and it's just gonna have to just stay there and it, my skin will heal over it and it yeah very stupid don't be like me but that's what I get for messing around with maybe I'll have one of my coworkers try to get it out anyway besides the point I go to walk into my kitchen and the hallway as I'm walking to my kitchen I step in a puddle and I'm like okay <laughs> I'm looking around I'm like did I leave a cup or a glass of something on my console table and it spilled over like there's no cup there's no glass I look up my ceiling has a leak in it I'll put pictures on the screen of the puddle and the little crack or crevice that I saw the water leaking from. I just was like, no, no, there, no, there's no way this is happening. How I felt is, you know that Mr. Krabs meme when he's like, and like the word, like that's how I felt because I've never had to deal with a leak before. First thing that went through my mind was just like, oh my God, they're going to have to take a, take this whole roofing apart or like this whole ceiling apart. And you guys know I have those big ass ceilings. So I'm just like stressed at this point. So it's like late at night. The leasing office is closed. I had to call the number. Got on hold with maintenance. Maintenance had to come over. They cleaned up the floor. Then they put a bucket underneath. And then yesterday morning. So that was all after we unboxed the mirror. The vanity broken mirror <laughs> on Tuesday. So... Wednesday comes and they are um, the leasing office is involved contractors everybody and they came over to look at it two guys came to look at it and they were like yeah this is definitely a roof issue it's not like a like water heater or AC unit whatever the terms were basically they they came to the conclusion that it was the roof mind you I don't know if you can tell it's raining if you're from Houston, Texas, if you've lived in Houston, Texas for at least the last six months, you know these last two days have been the first two days that it has rained. And I mean real, true rain in like four months. I'm not joking. I cannot make that up. Like, I don't even remember the last time it really rained. Like, yeah, a little drizzle and then it dries up from the heat. No, like it's been pouring for the last two days. So, um, it rained half of the day yesterday, and then around 4, they went up to the roof and patched it up. The leasing office called me. Hey, 
there should be no more leaks it's patched up now all we have to do is um you know leave so they put a big old fan in my unit it's like an industrial like one of those like big fans that they like leave in rooms when they want paint to dry and like floors to dry and stuff like that so um they have that hooked up to my electricity that thing is just going and they said that they need it to be left on all day for like 48 hours straight i'm like okay whatever so what did that just do to me being somebody that owns a business and that works from home and that like works for themselves and needs quiet to be able to film and record and work i just put myself out of commission for 48 hours i had the whole week off and i wanted to get content done half of this week if not the whole week uh and now i can't do that so that really blew my mood and I'm just like, okay, silver lining, that's silver lining. It'll all be handled in the next couple days, and you'll get back to routine. You have another three days off next week. It's fine. I'm like, okay, you know what? Thank God that at least I caught it when I did, and, it, you know, I wasn't out of town, and it turned into, like, some big thing. You know, whatever. Then I have an event that I'm planning, which I will share more with you guys later on, maybe in, like, the next vlog after this or something. Um, and it's an important event to me, and... I just found out that like some people that like I genuinely care about like that I deem as like my people that they're not gonna be able to make it and that just like ruined my mood because it's just like and I really don't want to cry like I feel like you guys have seen me cry enough in the last two vlogs I'm not gonna cry but you know yesterday I did cry it was a frustration cry because I had the, the vanity broken strike one then the ceiling which is like the worst out of everything strike two then this whole event thing strike three and i just started bawling my eyes out because it was just like a frustration cry you know i just feel like i give and like show up for people i show up for people if that's not a dollar amount that's not you know putting any price on anything that is just me simply saying i show up for people whether it's physically emotionally mentally um you know like i i show up for people and i feel like in a time where i'm somebody that very 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 rarely celebrates myself um yes you guys see all the celebrations because this is my channel and i share them with you guys but when it comes time to like actually putting events on and like hosting things i don't really do that often in the past i always felt as though my space was too small to host um but like also i just i don't know i've always been very private with that type of stuff and so now that i'm like getting out of my shell and like i'm actually deciding to do something it just it hurts because i feel like i'm just an afterthought um and that's my truth i don't know but yeah yesterday was just a rough day for me and i was like i'm in no way shape or form in a good position to pick up the camera because i think that all i'm gonna do is cry and that's just not good content like i'm sorry and i know like the girlies love to see raw emotion but like it becomes cringy at a point like girl give the give the girl something else besides tears <laughs> so anyhow i just all of that happened and then you know last night i was like it's okay I, I, I took a fat nap after the frustration cry. And I swear, a good frustration cry and a nap will solve the world's problems. <laughs> so that's exactly what I did. And I woke up and I felt so much better. And I was talking to one of my best friends about, you know, everything. And I was just like, hold on. Like, why do you care? Like, girl. Oh, my God. Like, why are you letting these people like get in your head and why are you letting this bother you and like the conclusion that like we came to is just the fact that like i am such a caring person and i swear that like sometimes i as much as i know that this is cap you cannot expect yourself in other people you just cannot and I know that I'm 29 years old I know this but it's like every single time I set a false expectation 
and I need to stop doing that. And it sucks because I could say that for like strangers and like people, you know, acquaintances or whatever. But like when these are people that you're very, 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 very close with, you expect more. And so I don't know, I'm disappointed, but I just wrap my mind around it. I've, I've wrapped my mind around it and just realized it's not that serious for me to let, you know, this throw off the last couple off days that I have. So whatever, I ended up having a good night. I had um, my meal prep for dinner. It's really good, Chef Marcella. We're locked in. Uh, had some salmon, some rice, and some asparagus with some like cherry tomatoes. It was really yummy. I watched some TV, um, and I had a glass of wine, and it was great. And then this morning, around 6 a.m., I was like kind of in and out of sleep, woke up, whatever. And then I hear the fan shut off. And I was like, oh no, like my power just went out. But I woke up, started flickering lights. All my lights were coming on. The only lights that were not coming on was the hallway light where the fan is plugged in. So then I realized that it blew a fuse. So I went to the fuse box. It was tripped. Turned it all the way off. Turned it back on. The fan came back on. Cool, whatever. But then at that moment I realized I'm not paying for this electricity on the days that they're using my electric for the fan. You gotta be freaking kidding me so I was smart and I had everything in writing from the initial day all the encounters all the conversations whatever and I went to deliver it to the leasing people and I know that they probably were very irritated by that because not only did I email them follow-up emailed them now I'm also you know calling them and showing up with uh, formal written letters but one thing about it I, if there's one thing that I've learned, especially in the last two years, you cannot go off of anybody's word. Everything must be written, emailed, you need to have a paper chain because people will try to F you the long way. God willing, all this apartment stuff gets figured out, but like if it doesn't, like they will be dealt with. Not only did the power went out, I you know, it, the breaker was tripped, I put it back on, cool, cool, cool. All of a sudden I start hearing drip 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 uh the roof that they said was supposed to be have supposed to have been fixed was indeed not fixed um so i had another leak in the same spot um and now i can see that area starting to get wider and wider and i'm just like i'm i'm really sick to my stomach because i'm just like this ceiling is gonna give out and y'all like this is the type of stuff I just I have to pray I just have to pray because my my prayer and my faith has to be bigger than my my doubts um, because honestly I started thinking one of the first things I started thinking was oh no that's why because you you ran to YouTube to share your accomplishments somebody evil eyed their the negative demonic spirit prayed this on you and and now they have put this bad aura into the universe um and you know being in line with god and, and my faith i'm just like i know that i'm not supposed to believe in like things like evil eye and like like i'm not supposed to but like just from a general perspective right like People will just wish poorly on you um, when they're miserable and then they, and they hate them, their lives, they hate themselves, whatever. Um, and so, like, I don't know if this is what it is. I don't know. I talked to my dad about it. My dad is, like, the most non-handy handy person like he he gets his hands dirty and like does his you know his stuff but like like he was talking to me this morning about some stuff and he's like sometimes I wish I had like a, a bigger skill for like contractual work I was telling him about it and he told me which I felt really good about he was like one everything every which way that you've handled it so far is exactly how I would have handled it and I'm proud of you like I was like that made me feel really good but then he also said um new buildings this can happen just because 
their new builds. They haven't had a chance to settle in. There could be cracks and crevices and, you know, whatever. And he was like, so all you really can do is wait and time will tell. But it's just like, I can't wait because every single second that I see that crack getting bigger and bigger, I just like, Lord, please, please. Anyway, I just had to get that all out. I've been talking for... 17 minutes. I look nuts. I look crazy and I'm sorry y'all. I'm just not in the mood to look cute. Um, it is 1230. We have really just one thing on the agenda today. We have a Botox appointment for my masseters. It has been over a year, almost a year since I last had this done and it's like a priority. Like I need to get it done. So I'm getting that done today. Um, which I'm ex excited about just so that I can like prevent the grinding because I can already feel this side of my jaw hurts because I grind my teeth that night. So that should help with that. But that is that appointment I believe is at 7 p.m. Like I said, it's like 12.30 right now. So I have a good amount of time. So I actually am pulled up here at Starbucks. In lighter news, I was on Instagram and I came across this account that basically does like um starbucks hacks and like you can like save like a dollar or two which that honestly adds up like the brown sugar shake and espresso um which is just a grande size is like seven bucks like that's ridiculous seven and some change at that but i'm about to order a special drink like a special order and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna basically break up all the ingredients separately and apparently like when i put it in on my app it's supposed to come out to like a whole dollar and maybe a dollar fifty cheaper so i'm about to order that y'all um and we will see what the verdict is Starbucks, what can I get for you today? Hi, can I please do an iced triple blonde espresso um, in a venti cup? Can I get um, extra ice in there and then um, uh, oat milk, like a splash of oat milk? My oat milk, uh huh, without beer? And then can I also get um, vanilla sweet cold foam on top and um, four pumps of sugar, or... Sorry, what was that again? Sorry, can I get vanilla sweet cold foam on top and can I also get four pumps of um, brown sugar uh, syrup? What about you? Um, I think so. Ice triple blonde espresso in a venti cup with extra ice, four pumps of the brown sugar, light oatmeal, and an oldest chicken carpo. Yes. Okay, it'll be 574. Thank, Thank you. you. That all came out to 574. I don't think I've spent 574 on a drink since I used to get refreshers. Like what? Let me find out this is my new tea. Oh, I'm turnt, y'all. I'm so turnt right now. Oh, I see my drink. This don't look good. Hi. I Thank you so much. Can I get a straw too, please? Yeah. Have a great day. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. Y'all. <laughs> tea! Tea! Okay, we gotta park. We gotta park. We have to park and try this out. I'm hot. Not I'm excited and I start getting hot. No, y'all overheating. Y'all need to chill. Relax, y'all. Take a seat. Cool off. <gasps> okay, this is what it is. 574 574 so if they even try to be like six something uh, they got it wrong they got it wrong y'all what nah and and the venti size i'm shook ice triple blonde espresso in a venti cup vanilla sweet cold foam extra ice four pumps of brown sugar syrup
and a splash of oat milk. Basically, it's the three-fourth inch oat milk, which is like extra oat milk. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I just had a whole drink of sweet cream foam. <laughs> and if you're somebody that don't even care for it to be that sweet, you can you can skip the cold foam and it would still be cheaper. It'd be like $5. So I think the cold foam was like 80 cents. Wow. Yeah. This is the Ice Brown Sugar Shaken Espresso for almost $2 cheaper, y'all. Wow. I want to give a personal shout out to, let me find the account. They didn't even make that order. They, it was very close, but this is the order that they, they put. And this order came out to 621 now I will say I don't know if prices fluctuate based off of your state because of tax I don't know but this is their order screenshot it this is the it's the how you brewing how you brewing um, page ice brown blanche ice triple blonde espresso in a venti cup extra ice oat milk vanilla sweet cold foam the things that they did different though instead of the brown sugar syrup that i picked they did five punts of macadamia syrup which i couldn't find on the app i'm sure that they probably had it here but still i was like no i want brown sugar and then they also did extra caramel drizzle um lining the cup that would have made that extra 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 sweet and like that's just extra calories and like sweetness that i don't really need I basically just did four pumps of brown sugar instead of their five macadamia, and then I did no caramel drizzle. This is tea. If you guys try this, you must report back to me. And if this ends up going viral, not just kidding, let me stop. But if this ends up, you know, reaching several platforms or whatever, y'all better tell them who was the original. Who was the original? Okay. Like Jocelyn Hernandez said. Oh, these cubs are so cute. They're so cute. I want a dog, y'all. It's moments like these that I realize I really do need an emotional support dog because I'm barely hanging in there, babes. I'm barely hanging in there. I mean, it's like a dog or a baby. <laughs> and Lord knows we ain't doing no baby. Without, without the man first, that one. Yeah, sorry, without the husband first, yeah. I'm not gonna say I feel 100% better. I feel a little bit better though. This definitely gave me a bit, a bit of life and just made me excited, so I now know how I can save some money. Because unfortunately, a lot of my money does go to Starbucks and it's embarrassing and I'm very tired of it. I need to do better, but it's like, once you become addicted to coffee, it's very hard to, like, go back. But anyway, y'all, thank you so much for letting me vent. When we get home, I'll show you guys the whole setup, the whole catastrophe setup. Um, <laughs> I'm just not in the freaking mood for this dish. Let me tell y'all, like, I'm not in the mood. This is what I mean when I say life really comes at you so fast. Cherish the good moments. And like, honestly, when I say that, I, I, I really do feel bad for myself that I really was just blaming myself 20 minutes ago for celebrating my wins. Because now, you know, I, I call it for somebody wishing on my downfall or I called for something bad to happen. Like, that's bullshit. Like, no, bad things are always going to happen. They are. So when the good things happen, celebrate them. Like you are not gonna have another day to live tomorrow because <sighs> bad things are inevitable, unfortunately. If anybody has dealt with a roof leak, um, especially a roof leak in an apartment building, um, please let me know how that ended for you. Like, I don't even know what to expect 
um, the biggest thing and why they have the dryer in there is that they don't want mold to build. So I'm scared about that, but I just don't know what else to expect, y'all. Please let me know in the comments. So this is what it looks like, y'all. I don't know if you can see the water dripping from that crack. That's the hole that they had to cut. And here's the situation. That's the fan. Oh, this is so sick. I'm just so tired, y'all. That is a light, like that light down there that had to be removed because there was water damage. Yay. Yeah. And you can actually see the ring around that circle to show that there was water damage. So yeah, I'm pretty much screwed y'all. I'm pretty convinced that this whole ceiling is gonna have to come out. morning oh man it has been a rough last few days <laughs> so today's Friday I'm having a mini breakfast I just want to get something in my system I'm about to hit legs sorry glutes today the only thing we have on the agenda work out go home eat shower and then uh, we have a filler appointment Finally getting my under eyes touched up y'all if you've been here for a minute You guys know the last time I got them done Was November of last year. So almost a year y'all which is crazy if you get filler or any facial balancing Done then you know typically people go like every six months going a year is crazy, but at the same time not really um depending on your foundation. It wasn't like it was my first time and then I, I didn't go for a year. I had gone a, a few times and then, you know, didn't go for a year. So, I'm, you know, I'm okay. The face does not look bad. <laughs> but definitely can use some fine tuning. But anyway, ooh, those egg bites were so good. Okay, so I just warmed up the Trader Joe's egg bites. The bacon and cheddar ones if for the girlies that eat those which one is your favorite the bacon and cheddar or the spinach and feta because I'm a feta whore like I love feta I love richness I would have to pick the feta in spinach or spinach and feta but sometimes when you just need a little meat the cheddar and bacon does it for me they're both good but y'all tea um i think it may have been in the last vlog or yeah it wasn't in this vlog for sure i don't know maybe it was in the last vlog i tried the um maybe it wasn't the, maybe i didn't film it i don't know but i tried the starbucks egg bites for the first time wow game changer like i am so shook because 
in my opinion, nobody sees Starbucks on their egg bites. Nobody. They're so good. They're like super soft and like uh, fluffy and like they're just so good. So anyway, mm, I'm like actually in a good mood despite the whole ceiling situation. Like I said yesterday, I think I said yesterday, um, I just really started thinking about it and I was just like, that's what, this will be figured out. You've done all the, the necessary protocol. You've got everything in writing. Um, you know, it, God forbid if it comes down to you wanting to leave or whatever the case may be, you've taken all the necessary steps, you're fine. At the end of the day, God knows what, what is and what was supposed to happen. Um, and if it's that, you know, this place is to be yours then it's to be yours and if it's not then it's not and like that's really hard to come to grips with if I'm being honest just because when you've you know really prayed and been diligent and like done your done your homework and did all the you feel like all the right things it's just kind of like dang sorry y'all it's kind of dark let me turn this brightness up it's just kind of like dang like I worked so hard for this. I prayed so hard for this. Like, I want to stay in this space. But, you know, one of my good friends, Stephania, like, I'm just so blessed, so honored to be her friend. And it's really crazy because we met through a mutual friend years and years and years ago. And I did not think that me and her like our friendship would supersede the other person's friendship uh, but here we are and um, she texted me yesterday and was just like <clears throat> you know because I had kind of vented to her I don't even know if I told her about the ceiling I think I did but I had vented to her about like the whole like people letting me down and feeling like I always show up for people and they don't show up for me and whatever and she had texted me and she had just basically been like Sis, control the things that you can control. How people choose to treat you, um, you know, life events, all those things, they're out of your control. Control what you can control and let the, the rest, you know, follow suit. And I was just like, oh, such great advice. Such great advice. Um, you know, sometimes we forget that we can only do but so much. We cannot, you know, we have to play with the cards that were dealt. We are not the dealer. God is. And it's just, it was just a, a nice reminder, you know, to like, just focus on the things that you actually have control over. Um, and that is, you know, like my mental my mental health, um, moving my body, showing gratitude, praying, um, you know, continuing to work hard, being optimistic, like those are things I can control, you know, and I don't know, just give me perspective and it's, it's really crazy and I bring up stuff to say like who you have in your circle, who you have in your corner is so 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 monumental to who you will inevitably become um and you know what you will stand for because your circle is a, a direct reflection of you or or i guess the other way around uh you're you are a direct reflection of your circle um i don't care what people say oh yeah my friends may be doing this but i don't do this Even though you may not be participating, they're keeping you in bondage, babe. They're keeping you in deep, rooted, mental, spiritual bondage. Um, it, it's, it's more than what meets the eye. It's more than the everyday. Wow, this city is so beautiful, y'all. Let me see if I can turn y'all around. I don't know what y'all can see. Uh, so pretty. Anyway, enough of that. I'm on the way to the gym. 
which I'm super excited about. Y'all know how I feel about my gym, my gym sessions. This uh, construction that, I'm about to say Cleveland, cause look, if you're from Cleveland, then you know how Cleveland gets down. No, this construction here in Houston right now is a mad one, a mad thing. So the update on the ceiling, it's still, it's still doing its big one. <laughs> Um, it has stopped raining. Like, when I say it was just my look, like, not one, but two days in a row it rained, and it hasn't rained in, like, the last 70 days. Like, damn. Um, but it, it's not predicted. Predicted. I will say predicted, because if you look, if you live in Houston, then you know. Um, the weather may say one thing. It may, whoa. Whoa, this guy's driving on the right, wrong side of the street, y'all. That's scary. That is scary. God forbid. Um, anyway, yeah, the weather may predict one thing and then... Or the apps may predict one thing and then the weather shows something different. So, but, you know, according to that, it should not rain for like the next like 10 days. So, hopefully they can get their asses up there today. And I'm not playing either. Playing around too damn much. <laughs> nah, I'm really just trying to be lighthearted about it. Y'all, I have work tomorrow and I'm trying to get somebody to cover my shift because I just, quite frankly, do not want to go. Like, do not want to go. And I'm tired of seeing fine men outside. Like, not really. I'm not tired of it. Y'all can keep coming outside, Pookie. Where y'all been? Oh, y'all was hibernating, huh? Now they're just getting a little cool, a little breezy. Now y'all want to be seen. Ugh, y'all some hoes. I just, I can't stand y'all. No, nah, but it's a beautiful, it says 73. I don't know. I don't, can somebody answer this question? The temperature that shows in your car, is that? Go! This, the temperature that shows in your car, is that the temperature in your car or the temperature outside? Like, Inquiring minds need to know. Um, because it says 73 in my car. I find it very, very hard to believe that it's 73 in Houston, Texas. But at the same time, it is it is cool and it is early in the morning. It's like 8 something. Um, earlier. <laughs> Don't get it twisted now. What drives me bonkers, y'all. You know what drives me bonkers? Is like people be knowing... Like, we are suffering with the lack of parking. And then they will just park however they see fit. And it's like, babes, why are you crossing the line? Because now, I shook your car. But the thing is, I believe in karma and I believe in God. And so I'm not going to do that. But, like, some of these other trifling hoes will. <laughs> believe that. <laughs> Shall they thirst anymore? Preach, preach up! Y'all, I had an amazing workout. I feel so great today. It's so loud in this apartment because of this stupid fan. Anyway, they just called me and said that the contractors are going to come look at the hole. This is the first time that the contractors actually came to look at my hole in my apartment. So I'm excited. I, I can't wait to hear what they have to say about this shit. Um, and he's already been on the roof as well, so they're trying to find where the leak is at, and then the roofers will be here at noon. Um, which is like an hour and like 10 minutes. Um, but y'all, I have to leave for my appointment at 11.20, because it's all the way up north. So, I'm just going to wait till the contractors get here, and then get in the shower, get ready really quickly, and go to my appointment, so... Y'all have seen me get my under eyes before. That's what we're doing. That's the main thing we're here for. But I want to get my lips done. And before anybody starts commenting anything crazy, um, I don't want any projection. I just want, like, definition. You guys will see. You guys, so I'm back. And I'm obsessed. I don't even think... You guys are probably laughing at the screen right now like girl we can't even tell a difference and that's good that's exactly how i want it to be um so 
if you did not <laughs> know, my under eyes are like severe. I just have deeply, deep uh, tear troughs. People that have them, you know that you have it, whatever. It's, it's just like that little crease right here, right? And then there are some unfortunate people like myself <laughs> that have them so bad, like deep, 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 like to the point that the only thing that can fix it is getting under the knife and getting a full like fat, what they would do is they would take like the fat pad up here um, and like fat transfer it to down there. But like, I personally just don't think I want to do that. I just don't. Um, I want to give myself a few more years just to see if my face is going to develop or change or anything like that. Obviously, two kids can change your like your nose structure and like I just I want to wait. Um, if it comes down to it, when I know I'm done having kids or whatever, maybe we will do that. But like I know I for the people that have never had anything done, this conversation is probably so cringe to you, and I apologize. But the reality is that get it, get it. Anyway. So what I do is I get filler, little, little, little tiny bits of it along that like dark uh, tear trough. And what it ends up doing is simulating, like basically pretending as though that tear trough does not exist. Um, and it's a lot less noticeable. I look like I just slept 10 hours. Like I look so much more awake in my opinion. Now, if you guys are looking, you will see a little bit of uh, there we go. You see a little bit of darkness here. Um, let me turn the camera. A little bit of darkness here. And that is uh, bruising. Bruising is very normal. But y'all, it just gives... I'm obsessed. Mind you, this is the quote-unquote worst that's going to look. Or maybe tomorrow. Um, just because I'm, I'm swollen. But like, all we did, she did a full syringe um, in my... So one syringe total, tear troughs and a little bit in my cheeks here. And that's it. And it looks so good. She was like, your cheeks look great. Like she thought that I, you know, had recently gone and like had my face done. And I was like, girl, I haven't had that, anything done since November. Um, so that was a huge compliment. Another inject, the other injector that did my masseter Botox yesterday. I, I'm so sorry, y'all. I forgot to record that. I was just, Yesterday, I was blown. Y'all already know that. But, um, yeah, she was like, your cheeks look stunning. Like, I wouldn't even touch them. So, we barely touched up the mid-face right here just to balance a little bit out. And because she had leftover um, filler from the tear troughs. So, yeah. Now, let's get into these lips, honey. I'm obsessed. They look so good. And y'all are probably like, we can't even tell the difference. Good, good. So all I had her do was, uh, I think that the product, like the filler that she used is called Literally Define, but um, I could be wrong. Anyway, she just went on the perimeter of my lips. And then my Cupid's bow. Let me turn around so you guys can see. So, yeah. They're literally perfect. And before anybody says anything, I did not get any filler in here. She kept this flat. All she did was take it around the perimeter and defined like my Cupid's bow and down here. And it looks so good. Like I'm happy. I'm so happy with it. Um, she basically had a promotion for a mini lip and um, like a couple of other services. So. A mini lip is like half a syringe, y'all. And for reference, a syringe is literally, sorry, a half a syringe, I believe, is the size of a blueberry. Either half or full. I think a half a size or a half syringe is the size of a blueberry, if I'm not mistaken. It might be the other way around, but yeah, that's how tiny it is. But, you know, it makes a difference, especially if you have a good foundation. She thought that I had had my lips done before, and I was like, girl, I never touch my lips. Um, but I've been wanting to just kind of give a little bit of like, so when I turn to the side, are you guys getting into the profile? Yeah. Yeah, that eats. It eats! 
I'm happy. Um, update on the ceiling. And the reason why I'm in my bathroom is because I can shut my master door and the bathroom door so you guys can't hear that loud ass fan. It's so embarrassing. So updates on, I'm sorry, I can't get over my under eyes. Like I look so much more awake, y'all. Like I've been needing this and I'm so happy, Brie. Um, she's a black woman. She's actually an NP and um, she's actually moving her salon very close to where I live. So that's great because, girl, it took me like almost, it took me like, yeah, almost 40 minutes to get to her today because she was very, very, very North Houston. But let her know I sent you if you do end up going there. So that's the point. Update on the roof. So the contractor came back, y'all, and he basically was like, this is what I think is going on. We already patched a certain area uh two days ago and the fact that it still leaked yesterday tells me that clearly that's not the area that it was and so what he was saying let me explain this i do not know terms so please just like be kind <laughs> but okay let's pretend that the ceiling is like this on the top of the ceiling there are little things whatever and how do i explain i don't know if it was this is on top and then this is on bottom, but basically there are two layers. One is straight flat and the other one goes like this. So even though at face value you're looking and you're like, oh, there's no holes. When it goes underneath this layer, it falls into a catch system that goes slanted. And so what is happening is where, my, where the water is draining and collecting um, is at that corner. So you can actually see a little bit of like some area before that corner. There's some water damage there. So they had to basically go in from the top and he just texted me actually, I'm like so happy about it. And he was like, I think we found the spot. Um, but yeah, so they have to like go into, not the foundation. Child, let me just shut up before I sound even dumber than I already am to the subject. Um, long story short, he just was basically saying we thought it was here but then he's he was a gen he's the general um contractor by the way he was like we thought it was here but ended up being here it's is my interpretation um and i'm happy because i had him actually come into my apartment and look at where the damage was and he was like okay now that i'm looking at it because you have these high ceilings, I actually think that it's more this way. I was like, okay, good, good, good. Um, because they're thinking, oh, just go over the unit and just survey. Like, no, babes. Um, also, they did tell me that because it's a new build and it has not rained. Y'all, y'all thought I was joking. It has not rained in four months here in Houston. Like, real true rain. Like, I'm saying beyond just drizzle. And so, he's like, with new builds, it, it's going to take time. We won't really know where leaks and cracks and crevices are until it rains unfortunately so there was that when he first came earlier i was like i hope this isn't inappropriate but like can i have your number so that you can like contact me you know with updates and he was like absolutely we exchanged numbers and then he just texted me literally like five minutes before i cut the camera on and told me what i just told y'all so there's some positive news also I don't even know if I've ever worn bundles completely bone straight. Okay, I don't say bone straight, but like this is very straight compared to what I normally do. Um, and I hate it. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I will never wear this hair like this unless, you know, I'm in this situation right now where my hair is just dirty and the only way that it could look semi decent if is, is if I just put like a flat iron through it earlier because I didn't have much time, but like, no. Straight, straight hair like this cannot have short, choppy pieces. I'm just convinced on that. It just doesn't give. <sighs> anyway, I'm just so shook at my lips. I'm shook at my face right now, but like the lips, I'm just so shocked because I'm like, <gasps> you really did it. They look good. What are we thinking? You know what? Only comment if it's something nice. <laughs> I'm fragile, girl. I'm fragile. I'm about to start my period in a couple days. Like, I'm sensitive. Like, I don't got time to be reading no negative comments. Matter of fact, comment what you want. You already know how, how it go with me. If I see some even remotely snarky, mean, mean girl energy, you're blocked. 
How about them apples? Have fun watching me. Oh, you can't because you're blocked. Um, I mean, unfortunately, they could still just like get on YouTube.com and like still watch me. But the great thing is moving forward, you won't be able to comment anything crazy because the only time that you can comment is if you're logged into an account. So unless you make a brand new account, which I will just continue to block you, I think you will learn your lesson after the first one. <laughs> that probably sounded so mean, but like, I don't think people understand in this space, you have to protect your peace at all costs. And for me, protecting my peace is blocking people that are mean. Like, mean. I could understand if I came on the internet, y'all, and I was problematic. And like, I was just like, talking about this person and talking about this person and doing this and doing that and just being like, just like a negative Nancy, a really just like dark person on the internet. But I don't. Like, I literally, we talk about me, me, me what's current like in the world the weather vacation like that's the that's the type of stuff that we talk about on this channel like i really keep it lighthearted, and so it's like i don't see why anybody should be disrespectful to anybody but you know especially me when i'm on when like you're on my channel like please be kind she said expect swelling for like the next two to three days so so happy I got my under eyes filled like y'all don't even understand that type of drama it's just so like imagine getting eight hours of sleep feeling fully rested and then you look in the mirror and you look like you haven't slept in 10 days like yeah story of my life so we have some Amazon packages let's go downstairs and get them I'm gonna change the battery and when I come back up we will unbox one of them i'm very actually i'm excited about everything just because it's like yes like more stuff that comes in like more changes that can happen but there's oops, but there's one in particular that i'm super excited about and then basically my plan for the rest of the day is i have two actually youtube inclusions that i want to edit and send over to um, my manager for approval for the next couple weeks like i'm I told y'all quarter four like I really am not trying to play I'm really not trying to play like I just want to grind like I have a I don't know if I have a number set but I think I'm gonna make one today I want to write out some goals and I want to write out like some like dollar amounts that I want to hit for quarter four um because like y'all I'm sorry but like next year is our year like this was like the, our first full year of us really getting in our bag when it came to like sponsorships and like YouTube, especially YouTube. But like next year, we're taking flight to the moon. Like I'm not joking. We're just going to put that energy out into the universe. I'm going to continue to pray about it. Like babes, we're about to be on our consistent ish. Like I'm taking a little bit of a step away from um, my day job. And when I mean a step away, baby, I'm still full time. I need them benefits, okay? But um, I do think that I'm going to. What am I? What am I seeing right there? Ooh, my lips are a little tender, y'all. I cannot lie. Basically, each check I was working like six days on average. Sometimes five, sometimes seven. Somewhere between six to seven, more than anything though. So like out of fourteen days, I was working six or seven really good paychecks for those whatever but it just leaves me so much more pressed when it comes to like having to film like my filming days end up being more than my 12 hour shifts it's like a whole day of just like content and planning and editing and like it's very overwhelming and then I, I started to feel as though like I never had days off like just days that like today like that I can just like lay down like even though i said like i'm gonna edit those two inclusions that's nothing compared to like editing a whole vlog or like coming up with concepts or you know like doing try on hauls and stuff so it's like i started to feel like i didn't have time to just relax like watch my shows and just like be a bum like everybody needs at least one day a week to just like rot like rot like be stinky okay not stinky but you know what i'm saying like be in your pjs until 12 type of rot and or maybe even later babes like no judgment zone okay like i've rotted all day before and i don't feel bad about it 
but I feel like I haven't had those days in a very long time and I mean like almost a year so I'm just like no yeah almost a year the last time that I like rotted was when I had COVID and do y'all remember that that was like Thanksgiving weekend or something like that so starting quarter four I'm gonna go down to five shifts a week or sorry five shifts every check so five days out of 14 and that'll leave me, you know, at least two out of the nine remaining to just chill and then like a full seven to like put full time into like content creation. So I'm excited for 2024, but we still have quarter four of 2023 to finish out. So let's get it done. Hi, you guys. <laughs> So, hold on, let me close the door because you already know the fan situation is about to piss me off. You guys, I feel so just like recharged. So today I was actually supposed to work, but I did not work because I had to have the contractors coming in and out of my place. Um, fingers crossed, I believe that they fixed the situation on the roof. However, the fan needs to keep blowing for the next few days just to make sure everything's dry before they can come in and patch up the ceiling. Um, but I will say, I'm starting to feel, okay, I wanna make sure I doesn't know. I will say I'm starting to feel a lot better. I thought I heard my phone ring. Yeah, I'm start, I, I will say I'm starting to feel a lot better. Um, so, there's that. Today, um, I was here, I let them in, they were in and out for a little bit, then they took a break, then I went to the gym, and then I went on a really long walk through Buffalo Bayou, um, like, park or reserve, I don't even know what you want to call it, but, like, y'all, those trails are so long, and I never have walked them, and I love it. So I'll insert some clips on the screen. Um, maybe it's just one clip. I don't remember how much I recorded, but I was like in my element, just loved it. Just being in the nature and like, just like moving my body. I have almost 10,000 steps y'all for the day, which I'm so proud of myself. That's actually one of like my new goals. I want to get to the point where I'm consistently hitting somewhere around 10K steps a day. Um, I just feel better when I am like on that type of time. So yeah, but, um, y'all. We have some home updates, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, some things to look up for now that, you know, we've been a Debbie Downer the whole first half. <laughs> I'm sorry. But uh, we have some things new in that I'm super excited. Some things I haven't unboxed. Some things I have unboxed. Some things I have built. Um, some ideas I want to go over with you guys because I don't even know when my handyman is going to be able to come by yet. Uh, I asked him if he was available um, tonight or tomorrow. He was like, he's not. And then I asked him about Monday. He was like, Monday's a possibility. So he's going to let me know tomorrow night. Um, so depending on how the rest of this vlog goes, you guys might see that later on. You might not. We'll see. Let's get into some skincare just because I just got out of the shower. I just washed my hair. And I was gonna do that anyway, but I just wanna like update y'all. I don't know about you guys, but I do not do the same skincare every single day. I may use certain products every day, but I don't do the same routine every day. I basically do the thing called skin cycling. If you've been anywhere on TikTok, then you know all about it. But tonight is my like hydration um, night. So the first thing I'm gonna go in with, I want to wash my hands because I obviously touch the camera and stuff. First step to good skincare is making sure your hands are clean. Yeah. Okay, so I think I already talked about this earlier in this vlog. Y'all, please, if there's something that you need, it is this Coco and Eve Antioxidant Hydrating Milky Toner. Oh my goodness, this is tea. It has 2% niacinamide in it. Actually, I'm going to wet my face. Niacinamide does so much better on the skin when your skin is damp. So I'm gonna just dampen my face. Oh, and then I almost forgot to even like show you guys updates on my face and my lips and everything like that. So this is the day after, sorry. 
Oh my god, I completely forgot to apologize. I know I was supposed to come on with like packages and stuff like that yesterday. Y'all, I ended up just falling asleep on my couch because I was pooped and like honestly like injectables, like it's not even that, it's really, the pain really isn't it. It's just like, it's a lot of just commotion on your face. Um, if you know, then you know. And so sometimes you just want to just like take a nap after. So that's exactly what I did. And then I woke up at like, I don't even know what time late at night. And I was like, oh, well, I'll just see them tomorrow. So anyways, now that our skin is damp, the niacinamide will cling to that like moisture and just hydrate the face even better. So I go on with a couple drops of this. I love this stuff. And I really just focus on using her at nighttime um, more than the day. I mean, if I am just feeling like my skin's feeling super dry, which it doesn't tend to often, then I'll use her during the day. But no, like she is my tea for the nighttime routine. And then don't forget the neck, y'all. Let's just pat her in. And uh, because I just got filler and my Botox here, um, you are not supposed to rub your face crazy. So I'm just being super gentle. Now, the next product that I'm gonna use, which I feel like this can go in any of the skin cycling steps, honestly, is the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. It's so good. And I find that this does like, just like, oh, it just, I don't even know. Like I've literally seen results with that. Cause I'll, I've gone through phases, I'm not gonna lie, where I use it heavily, like once or twice a day for a few weeks at a time. And I promise you any like, dullness or imperfection it like clears that all the way up um as far as like lightening dark spots i would say moderately um topicals is really that girl for that but um as far as like overall evening your skin tone this is this is tea first time getting my lips done and they're healing pretty nicely i do see a little bit of discoloration where i think that's just like bruising but honestly they look good like really happy with the results mind you if you guys see any like bumps or <laughs> i don't say bumps and lumps but any like swelling um that will go down in the next couple days it's only been literally 24 hours so for 24 hours i'm happy um the only thing that i have noticed which i already knew this so i was gonna bruise i have bruising on both sides here that is standard this is such a small tiny cavity in the face so any needle that goes in there is going to leave a little bit of a bruise um it has always done that for me so i don't know if it's just me or if it's everybody but for me i always bruise in my tear troughs but otherwise they look amazing i'm really happy with everything okay now my hydration nights are like super simple like literally some type of toner serum and then a good moisturizer so i've been using this the cost rx advanced snail 92 all-in-one cream this started going viral like this brand's uh snail mucin um or like essence i think is what it's called i don't know but it that has been viral for shoot like a year plus like the whole korean beauty skincare um whatever but this recently started going viral and I was shocked because I'm like, I've been using this for a minute. Like arguably, when did I first get this? I want to say I first purchased this when I was still living in Cleveland. So yeah, it's been over a year um, since I like first used this, but it looks like this. She's that girl. All of these products will be linked down below y'all. Just. So you know, but I just, you really don't even need a lot. And that's other, um, that's also tea because 
like it literally lasts forever the uh, shelf life on this is 12 months so honestly unless you're like slugging yourself in this like in copious amounts every single night this could last you almost a year i'm not joking because you do not need a lot like i don't know if you guys can see how much i use even this is a, like a lot it's just very uh literally how they say like, snail music like you can it's just like slimy i don't know how else to explain it but get it on my neck too um so yeah this is the skincare y'all i could put some eye cream but i really don't want to congest the eye area considering the fact that i just had my filler done 24 hours ago so we're gonna keep it light oh one last thing for the lips oh my god my tried and true the Laneige um these are actually the lip glowy balms so like the lip balms um but you guys already know like the famous sleeping mask but these are good too so these are they have a tint to them obviously i am dark skin so the purple is not really going to show up like that it just for me i feel like the purple just kind of gives me like a more lighter sh like jelly look on the lip it's cute okay i'm just putting on some necessary deodorant and that's it y'all that's all she wrote Woo! skin looks great face looks great besides the bruising which is normal it'll go away i'm happy okay <laughs> i'm gonna shut this fan off for now because i just need a moment of silence for an hour gracious it's crazy how loud that thing is so <laughs> updates let me show you guys so we have a lot of packages which we are going to unbox one of which we definitely have to unbox for what i'm about to show you but what i'm about to show you is this can you guys see how cute let me bring you closer so this is going to be my little work from home office nook okay i need some opinions um let me know what you guys are thinking i feel like this space i feel like this space is perfect just because it literally is just like a dead space with nothing to go here and i feel stupid putting like a table and a mirror when i already have a table and a mirror here so i felt like it would be perfect to put an office now here is the downfall there is no outlet in sight if you can't tell um let me see if there's one on this wall there's not the only closest outlet is right here Sorry, y'all, there's nothing in this room, but right here. So it's very close, um, but I'm like, is it tacky that, you know, I have to plug in here and then like run the cord out here. Now, if I'm being honest, I don't, hold on, let me shut the door because it's not giving aesthetics. <laughs> now. If I'm being honest, I feel like this is perfect. This is so perfect. And it's nice and sturdy, like for the most part. I got this from Amazon. Let's unwrap her too, just to give the final look. Let me grab my scissors, my scissors. So let's unwrap her. literally 
perfect. Perfect size, perfect length, only barely comes past the nook. I also still have enough room to walk into my bedroom like comfortably. It's not a situation where I'm like rushing and boom, like no, like there's a good amount of walkway here. Um, I just think she's perfect. She's minimal and like I just am looking for somewhere. Okay, so for, for reference, let me get my laptop so y'all can kind of see. Laptop. I love it. I love it. This is one update. I originally, if you guys have been paying attention, I originally was going to put this desk in the guest room on the wall oh, on the wall um i put it there when i had this delivered and then i was looking at it and looking at it and looking at it and i was just like it's too busy in here and i feel like maybe it's just because i already had those acrylic nightstands which i was considering selling those and just getting plain nightstands and then putting this in there but then i just thought overall like I just don't, I want to be out in the open. I want my office space to be like open. I don't want to feel like, uh, like, you know, and the only way that I was going to do that is either have a whole office room, like just an office, but then I really want my, that second room to be just a content room, like beauty room where I get ready for, you know, do my makeup, do my hair, whatever. And then like a filming space for like hauls, try-ons, TikTok, um, and the closet. So I'm just like, I'm not going to put two desks in there. Like that's so goofy. So the more I thought about it, I was like, okay, let me order just a minimal desk. And this is stunning. She's beautiful. She's pretty solid. Um, if you shake her this way, she's a little shaky, um, but not like shaky like, oh my God, she's going to topple over, like no. Um, she's acrylic and she's a good dupe for the CP2 um, one. Actually, the nightstands that are in my guest room are both from CP2. That quality is amazing, but for this price point, um, I'm happy with it. It came super fast, it came in like three days. The CB21 is back ordered for months and I'm just like, I just need something minimal. Like when I get to my next space and I have a whole closet, I mean whole closet, a whole office room, um, then I'll sell this or I'll, I'll use this as something else. I don't know, like an entryway table or something, um, you know, townhomes, which is like what I'm looking for probably in my next space is a townhome with multiple layers. When you have multiple layers, you need more like every hallway, every entryway is gonna need something. So this will be a good entryway table um, in the future. But for now, a perfect desk. So I don't know, I'm really happy with her. What do you guys think? So originally I had these, I wanted, remember you guys remember these? I wanted these to go in um, above the bed of the guest room. And that the more I kept looking at it, I was like, these brown tones are gonna go perfect with my master uh bedroom once all that stuff gets delivered um that stuff probably won't be delivered for another like month or so um but yes so i kind of hold held off and then i was looking at them and i'm like should i put these canvases up here but then i was like i feel like it's a little awkward because so imagine these canvases up here, right? But then here, there's nothing. So what I was actually thinking about doing is I have three large canvases. I was going to customize them and put them on this wall. Um, I kind of want to do the whole picture, or sorry, uh, what do you call them? Lights above the paintings here. And then like I just feel like it would be stupid to have no painting here and then painting here or paintings here and then these two random ones here so I just thought about it I think I'm gonna do shelving like two black shelves up there I think that'll be super super cute um you know get some greenery 
some flowers, a couple books or something. Like, I just think it'll be super dope. And it'll really, like, I think that this little space is its own area of the house. Um, it's an office nook and I love it. So now that we've come to this conclusion, as of right now, y'all, um, as I get more furniture and, you know, change some things around, she might end up going back in that room. I'm not sure. But as of right now, I think she's perfect right here. But this is the update. We got the chair, the desk chair. It's in one of these boxes and I want to unbox it, put it together and see how it fits in the space. If it fits in the space, the desk will stay. So let's unbox her and get to it. It's not coming off. How the heck? It says remove this thing, but it's not coming off, y'all. excited. I'm happy I went with this. So the back of this. Mm, okay, let's move to the couch y'all.
this way. Psych. Okay, y'all. I had to cut y'all off because y'all were overheating, but I think we got her together. So this is the actual seat part all put together. Now I'm about to um, put her on the base and we should be good to go. I did this, y'all. Stunning. Stunning. It's so nice, y'all. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. I'm going to just have to be careful because I don't want to stain her. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Back support is good. Oh, oh God, I gotta be careful doing that. Fully turning around. Oh, this is really nice. Oh. Yeah, this is a good chair. I will have her link down below, don't you worry. That's all the way down. That's all the way up. She's wide. I feel like I have good back support. She's comfy in the like in the seat. Perfect height here for editing. Yeah, this is perfect. I love her. I'm really happy with this purchase. So I'm glad we got that out the way and we made the you know, determining factor that this is a yes. This is a yes for now. Um, could you guys just imagine some like black floating shelves up here and then like some greenery draping down? Like, oh, it's gonna look so good. I'm really happy. So I do think I might have something in one of these boxes. Oh, let me move this base so it looks appropriate like crisscross the way it's supposed to and y'all once again like when i tell you i have all the room in the world like this is beautiful i'm really happy really really happy i think all i'm gonna add to this desk i have like a trackpad i might return it honestly because i think i kind of like how clean it looks just like this um, and then I'll probably put like one little task lamp here and like an acrylic, uh, pen holder or something like that. Um, and then here will be like books and plants and, you know, that type of stuff. So, oh, this is so cute. Like, I'm really happy with this. It's nice. It's clean. It's minimal. And I still have space to work with here. I also love that this light is right above. So I could technically use my hallway light as a light, you know, even after hours. Um, but I'm still gonna have a tasker like mini lamp right there, or maybe even like a skinny one if it fits on the side. We'll see, but this is, this eight, this eight. Y'all, and this is why I should have opened up the rest of the stuff because I just opened up one of my first packages and it is the desk pad, indeed. So let's see what she looks like. Okay, I already like the color. Let's move. Okay, I'm not mad at it. It is 
a little bit of a different color than the chair. Not that I tried to, you know, pair them at all. I just picked the most neutral color I had. Ooh, okay, okay, no, this is actually kind of eating. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. The fact that this whole setup is from Amazon has me shook. No, this eight. Okay, mm, I could do without it. I'm not mad at it. Ignore the lumps. The colors actually worked out pretty nicely. Ignore the lumps. It just needs to sit out for a little bit. But um, let me put my Jesus MacBook here. What do you guys think? Mind you, like, really the whole purpose of the mouse is, or the, the pad is to protect the integrity of the desk. No pad or pad. I'm leaning towards no pad, like maybe I should just return it for now, but I know if I get a mouse, I will definitely need this. I have a mouse actually, I just don't really use it, but if I decide to start using the mouse, I might need the pad. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Let me show y'all without the pad one more time. Here's without the pad. It's giving without the pad is cleaner, you know? Maybe what I'll do is I'll just get a little small mouse pad um, if I need it, I could always just pull it out. But yeah, I like her like that. Oh, I forgot. I got these fake flowers, these fake uh, tulips. And these are so cute. They look so real. Okay, hold on. Hold on. So I've had this face for a while. I got a world market and I've been wanting to put some flowers in here. <sighs> Okay, this is so cute. Bye, this is so cute. And the best part is, because they're fake, nothing gets damaged. <gasps> okay, wait. <sighs> You're joking. You're joking. This is so cute. Really, it's supposed to be over there on that thing, but um, either that or, 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 we have this. Although, obviously, there's supposed to be water in here. That's kind of why I'm trying to stay away from using this one for the fake one, because you can't, you know, when it's, oh, when it's not clear, you can't tell, because you can't see. So cute. I just have to put the whole thing in here. All of them. Yeah. I'd have to put the whole. Let me see. It's very cute. But I need a skinnier one. Maybe I'll order another one. Or I'll just use this. I'm not sure. But super cute. Super, super cute. Okay, well that's, oh, oh, one more update. Look what finally came, y'all. <laughs> and she's gorgina. Um, I put her up on my vanity, love her. The only thing is she's heavy and I feel, I don't feel safe enough with just this base. So I wanna have my handyman actually mount the mirror to the wall above this desk. Um, so yeah, there's that. Okay, y'all, I am exhausted. Um, I got up super early today, so I'm about to hit the hay. I will see you guys in the morning. Hey, Ray gang, how are you? 
<laughs> so I don't know if I really explained this earlier in this vlog, but this was recorded over a month ago. I just want to deeply apologize for my absence here on YouTube. If you made it this far in the video, uh, just know that we are back on our grizzly grind. We are back on our consistent-ish. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the sweet uh, messages and well wishes. No message goes unnoticed. I love you guys, Ray Gang. And I just wanted to express my gratitude for y'all. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing. Give me a big thumbs up. And I promise, I promise the vibes in the next two vlogs are going to be so much better. So more up. Um, but yeah, baby, we've been going through it. Okay, honey, we need a break. A little mental health break, if you will. But I am back and here to stay. Okay, I will see you in the next one. I love you so much. Bye.